Hello lifeies, welcome back to my channel. It's Michaela here and today we're gonna get into my Tory Burch haul. I have a big bag here. Um, I went shopping, got some things. So if you wanna see what I picked up, then just keep on watching. start with the smallest things first so i did pick up some cute little this is the little charm that comes on the little dust bags for jewelry that i made this necklace out of so i don't know if y'all are diy girls and you like to make your own little you know jewelry or whatever you can repurpose because like i don't use these bags i have a travel jewelry case when i travel so i'll probably make something else with this one um alex says something about putting it on my pandora charm bracelet either way that's just a little tip if you like to repurpose things but i did buy some of these because i don't have any silver so i bought the silver monogram earring i don't know if y'all could see that really well but it looks like this with the little toy birch symbol on there. They're really pretty. Um, they're like little cuffs. And I just thought those would be really cute. I love a cute, dainty, close to the ear type stud. Studs are cute too, but these are a little extra. So I got these in silver because I don't have a, lot, a ton of silver. Um, I've been wearing a lot of gold lately, but I do have this same Coach Bangle in silver. So I thought that would be a cute little set. My Pandora bracelet silver. So I did want to get a silver pair. And y'all, they were running the best deal. It was the Black Friday deal. So they had door busters, but they also had 50% plus an extra 20% off. So these fell under that. The regular retail price was 98. I don't know what I did with all of my but i don't know so it was 50 percent off which would make these like 50 with extra 20 percent off so i think they get i got them for around 30 or something like that so that was a good deal and then i also bought some shades and i love her little um shade case carrier so you get a hard case like this with the monogram on it and then you get, oh, are these the receipts? Yeah, these are the receipts. So the earrings ended up being $39.20. So yeah, those are called the Britain Huggy. So those are cute. And then I bought these shades. And like I said, it comes with that. And then it comes with the soft case that they said you could also use to clean your shades with so you want to keep up with both and then this has like the little toy birch symbol on there and then these they're so cute these are the shades let's open them up they're so pretty and thick and sturdy and just really pretty um, these are called the Eleanor Square Shiny. So I think she has these like in a matte shade, like a matte black. Um, these were regular price $188 with the 60% off. I saved $112. I paid $75.20 for these. And they're really so cute. Let me just show y'all how cute they are they just fit my face really well like how cute are these with the monogram with the little logo on there i just thought they were really cute really looks feeling very love just love these so pick these up and then we'll get into the last two items that i bought and then my last two items were gifts. My husband bought me these items for our 
eighth wedding anniversary. So we celebrated our anniversary on this past trip. We went to the Smoky Mountains in Tennessee. So I'm gonna do the shoes first. So I'll get some shoes and these are called the Vintage Nylon Sneaker Grissain Hero Soft Plain Weave. This is how they look. I did end up getting a size 11. I wear a size 10. She, my sales rep, um, she recommended that I move up a half size because of how narrow the shoe is, but they didn't have a 10 and a half. And she said, I do have an 11. I tried the 11 on. I had the perfect amount of room and whatnot. They give you a spare pair of um, shoelaces. How pretty. And this is the sneaker. They're really cute. Nylon with the raised logo. So they have the one where like the logo is kind of flat on the shoe with the circle around it. I did prefer this one with the raised 3D type of logo on here. It just seems sturdier. But this is the shoe. They kind of remind me of like bowling shoes in a way. Very elegant sneaker. I don't have a lot of black. Well, I have black vans, but they're just super cash. I feel like these are a nice elegant sneaker so and it would match multiple things like I could wear gray I could wear white I could wear black I could wear tote like pretty much my neutrals um and the shoelaces that come with it are these black and cream shoelaces so you could exchange them to bring out more of that tote but yeah I just thought they were cute I like that the sole if you watch my vlog I was looking at like the ones that look kind of like the foam runners that were like the really thick um sole or whatever but i don't know i don't like the white sole on the sneaker i like that this but the base is rubber and then like it's black and then it's white just because i'm not super careful with my sneakers i just need them to be pretty durable so i don't know i just i don't know i'm going through this era where like i don't want to really buy a lot of trendy pieces I just kind of want a lot of classic timeless pieces if that makes sense like <laughs> more longevity because i feel like i have to, we have to recycle the reason we feel like we have nothing to wear trends come and go and i feel like we have to just keep buying what's on trend but as i'm getting older in age i want a classic sneaker that's timeless that's gonna go with anything no matter what so that's what I've been on right now. Like I want longevity for my money. I'd, I'd rather buy quality, classic, timeless pieces in my wardrobe with a few trendy things here and there that I don't mind discarding or whatever. But um, I mean, and if you buy yourself and you don't care about trends, then so be it. But like, I don't wanna be the auntie that's wearing things that's 10 trends back like that's just not my journey i'd rather have some classic timeless pieces and i just feel like these sneakers are just classy they're timeless they're cute they'll match a lot of things especially you know you dress them up you can dress them down it's just they're cute so i got these they're regular price $238, 60% off. I saved $142. So I ended up getting them for $95.20. I just love this little shoe here. I feel like they'll look good with jeans. I feel like they'll look good with sweats. You get what I'm saying? Like it's just, I feel like they will match like a bunch of things that I have. So I bought those. And then last but not least, I bought the, what is this called? The mini zip tote in zinc gray, gray geo logo. Looks like this. It's really cute bag. So it has the Toy Birch logo all through it, but it has it in gold here. Um, back here, I have a little pocket. Um, it's so it says empowering women. I guess that's her slogan. All right, let's see. 
And right up there, yeah, one more. Okay, now let's get into this bag, finally. So, as I was saying, it comes with a crossbody strap. The other ones don't come with a crossbody strap. So, I know this one is just small, so it's like the mini. It's not the small, it's the mini. I feel like when you get the small, you get the you get the extra pouch and not the crossbody strap. All right, so this is what the inside looks like. So, you have like this little side pocket right here, a little flap right here to keep things. Then you have on this back side, you have the same little flap, but you also have a zip pouch right here at the top. Right, so you got like a little lower level to keep everything. And then of course you have your main compartment right here. Oh my gosh, there's paper everywhere on this thing. Is that all the paper? Um, this one does zip. That's why it's called the zip tote. So you can zip it. And it looks like that with the zip and with the crossbody. And the crossbody is adjustable to be shorter or longer. Um, very cute. So yeah, I, don't know, I thought this would look cute with the sneakers. I don't have a gray bag. I don't need to have, how cute is that? I don't need to have any more white bags. Like, off I feel like I have a ton of bags, like this color, like this ivory color. I have a ton of black bags, especially my Kate Spade Natalia bag. That is like a classic timeless black bag that I have. So, I really want a Tory Burch um, tote. And this gray is super, super cute. Um, like I said, I don't have a gray bag. I had a Michael Kors bag many years ago that Alex bought me that... Um, I carried to death like when I worked in banking and I was that was my bag like I put so much stuff in that bag and yeah she she didn't even break I think she started peeling but anyway so this is a nice quality tote I'll tell y'all how much this was a doorbuster so this one was 129 which is um better they were saying it's better than the 50 percent plus 20 percent off because i think the regular price of this bag is like 298 or something like that so this was a doorbuster deal that was a really good deal um and the fact that i've been eyeing this bag and i've never seen it go below a hundred dollars because i was about to buy it from nordstrom i think during their sale for 199 and i thought that was the best i was going to be able to do and then I went right to Tennessee, and this was the doorbuster. So I was like, I got to get it while I can. So I got it, and yes, this is my Tory Burch haul. Some shoes, a new bag, some glasses. I'm very happy. Like I said, I love the Tory Burch brand just because the aesthetic is just very classic, timeless pieces that, like, you know, they're good investments. Like, you're going to have them a while. They're never going to go out of style, really. Um, and yeah, so... Let me know what you think about the brand Tory Burch. What are some of your favorites from her favorite styles? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys this weekend for a weekly vlog. Bye.